The Void is one of the most mysterious things in Minecraft. It's a vast wasteland of nothing, deep below the surface of the Minecraft world. It is separated by a thick layer of unbreakable bedrock, making it impossible to reach and survive on Minecraft unless you go to the end. No one really tries to explore the void, nor do they want to, because trying to explore it is useless. If you fall 64 blocks into the void, you start to take damage of 4 hearts every 10 ticks or half a second. But does this mean the void ends where you die? Well, not quite. You can extend your fall into the void by constantly eating enchanted golden apples. However, even these godly apples can't save you from the void because you can only sack so many in your inventory before you run out. 1728 to be exact. On the other hand, I was able to make it around 10,000 blocks into the void before I got bored and decided to die. I did this by giving myself an insane amount of hearts which made me survive in the void for much longer. So I decided to figure out if the void is infinite or if it eventually ends. Is it the end of a Minecraft world? Is it infinite? Well, to answer these questions, there are some major problems that we have to solve. You see, Minecraft lets you teleport anywhere you want to in the world. Yes, you can go all the way to the edge of the world if you wanted to. However, when teleporting into the void, the maximum depth you can teleport into the void is exactly 20 million blocks. Now normally one would think that this is the max depth the void can go, right? Well, it's not that simple. If a person does teleport 20 million blocks, you would still die to the void like normal, but at the same time, even from 20 million blocks down, you still continue to fall downwards. This shows that 20 million is not the max depth of the void. Now I could just straight up make myself invincible and fall until either my game crashes or I just stop falling, but considering that we could be dealing with numbers in the quintillions, that might not be in the realm of possibility. Put that into perspective, if we were falling in the void at a rate of 500 blocks per second, it would take 63,419 years to fall a quintillion blocks or 792 human lifetimes to find the answer to a block game question. And who knows, the void could be much, much deeper than that. So since I can't openly fall that far or teleport with in-game commands, I thought there was nothing else I could do and that 20 million blocks was the furthest that I could get. However, I came across this video made on the limit of how high you can go in Minecraft made by Ant Venom himself. This video explains the highest Y level you can get to in Minecraft. In this video, he explains how when changing the source code of Minecraft, you can actually go beyond the limit of 20 million blocks. Now, I was super surprised and really hyped to try it out for myself, but there was one problem. I have no idea how code works, and how I would even find this in Minecraft's code. And to be honest, I didn't think I would be able to. But I was determined to do this for myself and see if this limit can be broken in today's Minecraft. Now I won't bore you with how long this actually took me to learn and understand, but all I can say is, please like and subscribe. These videos take me very long amounts of time to complete, and subscribing pushes my content to other audiences. Thank you. Alright, now into the juicy facts. After digging through Minecraft's code for a while, I eventually found the limit that states 20 million is the furthest you can teleport up and down. Now I instantly decided to run Minecraft with this limit set to 200 million, and this is what happened. First of all, the reason you can't normally teleport further is because it gives you a message that says invalid position for teleport. This is probably made so Minecraft doesn't glitch out or lag or potentially crash when a person tries to teleport infinite amounts of blocks into the void. But unfortunately for Minecraft, today that is exactly what we're trying to do. After changing the integer limit, Minecraft actually did let us teleport the 200 million blocks we set it to. And just like the 20 million blocks, we continued to fall downwards regardless of us being 200 million blocks down. But the weirdest part about all of this is that teleporting this far down removes the damage the void gives you. 200 million blocks, you stop taking damage from the void completely. Does this mean the actual void ended at the 20 million block limit? Well, who knows? My only goal is to keep going downwards, so that's what I'm gonna do. Next up on the list of teleporting into the void was the 32-bit integer limit, or around 2.1 billion. This limit is the highest whole number that Java can use in terms of numbers. If I set this limit as the limit of teleporting into the void, I'm able to teleport to the 32-bit integer limit, so negative 2.1 billion blocks. However, even at the integer limit, we still continue to fall like normal. The void damage is still gone, and we can still go into third person to look at our character. Even though the lighting is a bit glitchy on the character, we can still do it, which means we are actually in the void. At this point, I was at a roadblock. In Ant Venom's video, he bypassed the 32-bit integer limit by setting it to zero. And in the latest version, that was fixed. And trying to make the max limit higher than the 32-bit integer just won't work because Java can't recognize numbers that high. So I had no idea what to do and I thought that was it. But I started searching for ways that I could bypass the integer limit. I tried setting it to 0.0, .0 and that didn't work because it's basically zero. I tried setting it to the 32-bit integer limit with a 0.1 at the end, 
which actually worked, but I couldn't go any lower than that. But after around four hours of trying and searching around for ways I can make a number basically infinity, there was one way that would work, but it took some trial and error. You see, if you type in one divided by zero in the code instead of 20 million, it will count one divided by zero as NAN or not a number, because dividing something by zero is impossible. And that would make the teleport limit basically infinity. Now, this was going to work, but if I tried running Minecraft under this rule, it wouldn't let me because it's not a possible rule that the game can follow. However, I found out that if you change the max limit from negative 20 million to 1.0 divided by 0.0, it counts and will actually let you run the game. And that counts as basically infinity. So I was super happy once I finally found this out and instantly tried to see how far I could teleport. At first, I tried the 64-bit integer limit, which looks like this. It is a 20-digit number and is absolutely massive. This number has the same amount of digits as the quintillion at the start of this video, and it's just absolutely a massive number. But I was able to teleport, and what happened this low into the void is nothing short of spectacular. After teleporting into the void, I immediately noticed the colorful sky, and it caught me very off guard. As you can see, at this far into the void, you no longer have the ability to even fall downwards. Everything is so broken that after going into F5, the game just breaks. Epilepsy warning before I show this part because it is very colorful and very flashy, so heads up before I show this. When I go into F5, the game freaks out and colors just start going crazy and barraging your screen with random colors every time you move. This caught me so off guard that I kinda jumped, but then I noticed how in F5, this low into the void, you aren't above your character like normal. Instead, you are stood farther away and it's much glitchier and very weird to look at. I guess being this low into the void just completely gets rid of all Minecraft logic. However, we have much, much deeper to go into the void, so I am very interested to see what happens when we go lower. And lower I went, because after trying the 64-bit integer limit, I decided to just wing it and type a 50-digit number and see what happens. I tried the 50-digit number and the game just instantly crashed with no hesitation. It couldn't handle how deep we wanted to go and I was super confused until I realized that any number over the 64-bit integer limit Minecraft cannot handle so it just stops the game. We broke Minecraft so badly that it just quits without any hesitation and gives up instantly. However, even though I couldn't teleport further into the void because it just crashed the game, for some reason it allowed me to teleport even further into the sky. And if the sky is anywhere near as high as the void is deep, the sky could still answer our question to how deep the void is. So I immediately tried teleporting the 50 digit number into the sky, and believe it or not, it actually worked and didn't crash. However, I'm going to have to put another epilepsy warning here because in the sky the flashing is much more intense and wild. After going into the sky, the colors are cyan and blue, but then going into F5 again just breaks the game and makes it freak out. This one actually hurt my eyes because the flashing is very intense, but not much had changed from the 64-bit integer number, and since I was able to teleport with a number that high, I decided to go for a 100-digit number next. After going to the 100-digit number, the colors at this height were much more saturated and solid. However, going into F5 was just as flashy, so I won't be showing that again. It was basically the same thing, but with more solid colors and weirder mechanics, and obviously way, way higher up. But finally, I decided to go all out and see what the highest number I can put in is and what the max teleport limit in Minecraft actually is. So I just sat there and spam nines until I hit the max character limit that Minecraft can type in chat. This is the highest that I could possibly teleport and the lowest that I would be able to teleport if Minecraft didn't crash. After I was done spamming nines, it finally hit the end of the chat limit and I teleported. For some reason, it made the sky purple and blue, but this is the highest that you can go and the lowest that you could theoretically go if the game didn't crash. It is pretty much the same as the 100 digit number, except for the fact that we are so much higher that it's not even comprehensible. This number in height is so big, and it has an insane 248 zeros behind it. So it makes sense that this number has a crazy name. This number is called 100 Unoctogentillion and is the highest possible height and depth of the void in Minecraft. To put that into perspective, if this number was converted to meters, which is Minecraft's way of measuring blocks, this would make Minecraft's sky to void length somewhere around 10 duo septuagintillion times larger than the observable universe in real life. By the way, the number 10 duo septuagintillion looks like this, and I cannot even fathom how stupendously big this number is. The fact that the game even shows something up this high is actually insane and I have never seen anything this crazy and broken in Minecraft ever. 
However, we still haven't answered one question. Does this mean the void extends to this limit as well? Well, to answer that question, we would need to make it so Minecraft doesn't crash when we try to teleport that far. So for now, I'll ask you, do you think the void is infinite? Do you think we could teleport further if there wasn't a limit to numbers in Minecraft? Personally, I think it would have to break at some point because of how crazy it got at 100 unoctogentillion blocks into the sky. But who knows, the void might actually be infinite. And until we can say for sure that it's infinite, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye!